Amelie is a French film that follows the story of a 23-year-old girl named Amelie Pallon, a very shy waitress living in Paris who learns throughout the movie about the beauty of opening up her world to other people and of creating the kind of joy she fantasizes about both for herself and for the people around her. The mise-en-scene of this film is incredibly dreamy and the director uses color, time, animation, and soundtrack masterfully to create the alternate universe in which this innocent love story takes place. We are first introduced to Amelie's character at her conception and then more fully as a child. The film uses colorizing that emphasizes reds, greens, and yellows. This color gradient is used throughout the remainder of the movie. During these first nostalgic shots, vintage sepia tones create the feeling of a look into the past. This color scheme is exaggerated through costuming and set design as well, with Amelie and her peers always dressed in reds and greens. The use of such a strict color scheme follows the theme of self-containment that defines Amelie in the beginning of her journey. As a character, she is very attached to her routine and to the placement of things. Everything must be in balance for her and changes the things she is most afraid of. There is a break in this palette, however, with the inclusion of a vivid cerulean blue that seems to be associated with Nino, Amelie's love interest, with the neon lights at the porn shop where he works the first time Amelie visits with the photo album. Again, we see this blue in the plastic bag Nino carries around with him and in the arrows that Amelie uses to direct Nino in a sort of scavenger hunt in the park. Time also plays an important and somewhat confusing role throughout Juno's film. Though the use of pop culture references, such as the death of Princess Diana, locks us into the year 1997, the director, Jean-Pierre Junot, recreates the scenery of Montmartre as if it is the 1940s. It seems as though time was used with a great amount of liberality and whimsy as a tool for the advancement of the plot instead of as any guide for establishing reality or reason. The dates and times of events are emphasized and used to establish key plot moments. However, these specifics are used in conjunction with a certain vagueness regarding the length of time over which Amelie's journey takes place. The use of animation in this film is very minimal and often unexpected. However, it helps to visually depict Amelie and other characters' moods when the acting alone cannot dramatize the emotions adequately. Amelie melting and collapsing into a puddle when Nino leaves the cafe does a fantastic job of portraying the release of all of her anxiety over his presence, as well as the strength of her disappointment at herself for not being direct and honest with him. Animation also helped to connect Amelie's troubles with relating to people to her sheltered life as a child. Amelie must learn to step out of her fantasy world and into the human world, where so much more is possible. Lastly, the soundtracking for this film adds to the ageless feeling of the Parisian setting, while also setting the simple but mischievous and playful tone that resonates with Amelie's character. We are welcomed into Amelie's dream world throughout this film, while she becomes more and more acquainted with the real world until we realize that the two are not so different, that there is joy in both, as well as beauty and even justice. Though some have criticized the director Juno's indulgence in this film, Amelie, I believe that the sweetness and stylizing make this movie a gorgeous representation of youth and femininity.